All right, that looks like it's working, finally. Hey, uh... All right. Go to the live stream. Oh, oh, that's weird. Okay, there you are. Did I, uh... Am I sending you a camera? I don't see anything on the return. Oh, okay. Uh... There we are. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, man. The, uh, you can... Oh, that's the... Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what that is. Never mind. Yeah. You can... Oh, no. You can still see it. Still DevOps. You can see DevOps donkey underneath on my crop there. Oh, it matters. Fine. I don't mind it, actually. I like it. No, I don't see it on I don't see it on your screen. Okay. On that it's I have it cropped out. Oh no, it's gone. Oh. When sure. you have, oh it's me. Oh it's me. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, that's what happens. <laughs> I'm in morons. So oh. oops. Uh okay, so I think I went through this loop before with the um Oh, I don't see it. I don't Ooh, I love that one. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, do this. Uh, where's the link? Oh, here it is. Ooh. Oh, here, anyway. I'll put that on. Oh. Yeah, actually, I'll put that on mine, too. Send that to me. Sure. I'll put that on mine. Oh, we're going to go over that lady's Python video. We're going to do like a reaction to our programming video. Okay. Uh, and we'll do them. We'll do them in real time at like, we won't just watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we'll actually do it like that four hour one. Uh, all right. Do you send me it in in Facebook? Well, I sent it. I sent in Discord, and I uh, I tagged you on Facebook on my thing. But I also sent it in Discord, just the link. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I'm not logged in Discord over here. Oh, I got it here. Yeah, you, you have to be, or it would, it would be possible for us to be talking. That's because I'm on this thing. Ah, uh, I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down, but I'll send it in Messenger as well. Yeah, please. And then that's much faster. You'll probably figure it out, but But I, I tagged you in a post which you could do. I thought I thought. But I'll I'll send it to you, uh Actually I think uh, I've got there it. he is. But here's the link anyway. Ow. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Oh I did that oh the microphone's right there too. Uh, I'll turn that off just in case. The Facebook call would kill you. Uh, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this we're doing live Python learnings, learnings. We're learnings. We're doing some learnings. True story. Oh, it's not. God damn it! It's better. One weird, weird thing that's been happening is my camera's been flickering lately. It's really weird. I don't know if it's because uh, I spent twenty-two bucks on a webcam that I've been using for a year. Twenty-two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, there's, yeah. I think it might be that. It might be that. 
Mine I, was, uh, mine had a zero on it. I got a 4K one though, which was ridiculous, but whatever. I don't think you can stream in 4K yet. You cannot. And also, um, uh, any of the programs like, um, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. any of the programs like, um, Zoom and stuff, no matter what you send it, um, they take it at 1080p anyway. So same, same thing what you said, but in the program specific. Yeah. Very nice. All right. All right. So we did a little bit of there's my promotion. LinkedIn is the biggest one I've got. That's my biggest thing. Oh, did you throw it on LinkedIn? Yeah. That's actually a really good idea. Um I'll do that too. No point doing it after, right? Well yeah, that's what I was just thinking. I won't do the hi mom thing when I did it last time because uh, it wasn't mom or you. Here. And Jane's not here. Uh, if you want to go a little bit late, start a little bit late. Uh, technical difficulties and st stupidness. So. Yeah, that's fine. I you. Yeah, I was honestly like super far behind what has been one of those days Never. podcast itunes uh python uh cloud whatever bro Okay, so where are we going? What are we doing? I sent you that thing in uh, Facebook Messenger. Um, oh, that was a messenger? Of the, of the lady doing the Python stuff and what she has done. Oh, just real briefly. The thing for Adam Jinx uh, is a game. What ha it's, it's, you play, it's the games for four to six year olds. The um, people, uh, the parents make the game thingy. They make like the master account, the parent account, mm -hmm. oddly enough. And then they make child accounts for the kids to play the game. Yeah. And when the kids play the game, um, the parent, the parent, they work up points for like coupons for crap. So, uh, I told them you had a couple of young, young ones that are in that age range or coming up to that age range to play the game. So. It's a free game. Uh, Adam's buddies make it. He's actually involved with it somehow. But you know this guy, Adam Jinx? Yeah, right? he, he's been on the stream. Oh, that yeah. fellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him. He's a good guy. That guy, yeah. Yeah, mm. he's a good guy. And that's one of his little sideline things. Cool. And I told him I'd help him out and pass it on because I don't have a four or a six, four to six year old. So. I, I think at a four to six year old level, but yeah, yeah. different. I'll have one of those for the next two two years at least. <laughs> yeah. Because uh... so I don't know. It's I think it's like Rakuten kind of thing, or no, not Rakuten. Uh, Ebates like Ebates. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, something like that. All right. Anyway, check it out. It's doing him a favor. Uh, I have now done my part. Of saying that I would pass it on to you to okay yeah do a little testing if you would yeah I'll look at I'll look at it for sure Adam Adam Jinx I just forgot yeah. I forgot it's been a while it was it was when we our first, that, when we first started I think that yeah, was, was I think that was in October because I was living here as I just it was my first stream in the basement at the new house here yeah because uh, we were only going three months uh, but uh, okay. Right, let's dive in. 
So okay. this uh, this lady, I found this lady, watched this video a little bit. Um, also saw that it's super, super popular. Um, it's got a whole bunch of uh, hits and views and stuff, like 3 million views or something. So mm -hmm. uh, those tend to mean that those are good. Yeah. Um, going over the Cisco stuff was uh, not what I thought it was going to be. And I think I've been through that loop before. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, 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 free, free training. Oh, yay, free training. And then you get into the free training and it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. It's free for a reason. Yeah. Because uh, so, there's going to be no support. And uh, that's what I really like. Like the free one that that's why everybody's shocked by that four hour video that I watched is uh, that free code camp or whatever those guys are called. Yeah, because uh, because it's so good. It's four hours. Yeah. He explains everything. He tells you how to do everything step by step. Gives you errors. Tells you why it doesn't work. Explains it in plain language. He's a that that guy's a great. I want to call him a kid because I'm probably older. Yeah, than him. Everybody's but, a kid. Anybody under fifty is a kid now. In a month. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, oh Lord. Well, that's that one. Uh, and I did preview it a little bit. Uh, and she has 10 uh, things from uh, uh, easiest to hardest, mm. top 10 beginner projects. And uh, so what I was thinking is like this thing, this setup that you have here, do like a half and half, bring up uh, PyCharm or VS Code or whatever you want to do and okay. do a follow along. All right. I'm going to have to do this. Ah! I watched one for Photoshop that was the same thing. It was like a Photoshop beginner one, and it was like how uh, how uh, how is this free? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's funny, and uh, it's a uh, whole business. Like she learned most of her editing watching. YouTube, YouTube, to... YouTube, like she knew how to edit a little bit, but like the advanced stuff, she learned from I YouTube. Think, I think you can go in theater mode on this one of those buttons, this theater mode on the video. Uh, cinema, yeah, there you go. And I, it, right or left, top to bottom is up to your preference. I, I tend to do this one, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now I think you can just hide your thing or make a new folder in there. Ah, uh, yeah, the widescreen comes in handy, hey? Well, I'm not using the widescreen for this. I've got, <laughs> I've got Discord and uh, like your Discord window and Google Chrome and OBS. And the other oh, the yeah. other Discord will open on the other widescreen on the widescreen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it would be great. I want to get another one exactly like it. I think you can make. It. I think you can make her her smaller, and you and your code thing bigger. Can you hide that folder bar on the pie charm? Can that move uh, in? Well, I could. I could. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there you go. Oops. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 there you go. That's good enough. You're perfect. Pretty smart. Small. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, perfect. All right. So I uh, won't do all three hours, obviously, but we'll do like the first hour. Okay. Uh, okay. So I guess I can get rid of this. What was it? What was it? Okay. Um, I don't know what this 12 beginner projects. Coding course, coding course. Oh, sorry, it wasn't three million views. It was, it was the devil's views. Let's see if we can get it to the devil's views on this one. Yeah. Six hundred and sixty-six, six, six, six views. Four. Creating virtual environment. 
It's a few seconds. Can you hear this? Uh, do you, can you hear her? My name's Kylie Ying, and today in this nope. video, I... I'd have to uh, share that screen with you. Can you hear it on the screen? I don't, nec I don't necessarily have to hear it. You, you might need to oh. at some point, but yeah, okay. and you can you can choose to do it if you want to. Because um, I believe you can mute it. So what I do is I just live stream that window. Like it's it's a like not a real live stream. It's just a live stream to the Discord. To me, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then you can click on if you want to look at it. Oh, I see. You've done this before. Yeah. So. Um, uh, okay. I prepared twelve beginner. Yeah, now I can hear it. Yeah. Okay. So does it? It doesn't feed back, right? Play it, play it again. No, it doesn't feed back. Projects, and I'm going to walk you guys through the implementation okay. for all of them. Now, Checking if I had to get things. my headphones or Here's not. Here's a list of all the projects. Oh, who is this it's lady? Let's go me. back to her okay, social. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to check something here. Okay. Does your all of a sudden look all weird? Right, that's, I was born like that. Well, actually, it wasn't all of a sudden I looked that weird. It took 52 years, almost 53. There we go. Nice stream. Better. Yeah, you look way cooler now. Always all right. cool. That's right. So let's go. Legend, back. legend in my own mind. Yeah, let's go show her thing for a second, just so What's up, if she does. Squad? My name yeah, we'll dab. Oh yeah, Kathy Ying. Kylie Ying. Kylie Ying. Her YouTube, her Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, pretty sure that's easy to spell. These projects are in order from what I consider to be the easiest, most beginner friendly to the most complex. They'll range from Mad Libs, which is a string concatenation, to an unbeatable tic-tac-toe AI, to photo editing in Python. In addition, what? you might see me make a few mistakes My head just exploded there. Bugs during these tutorials. The reason why I decided to leave these in there is because I think it's a very important skill to know how to go back and fix your mistakes because everybody inevitably makes mistakes. What? Did you just edit that? Really good for yeah. you guys to see some of my logic when I go back. I'm just gonna fix them. Next time I make a mistake at work, I'm gonna play this video for my boss. Make sure to subscribe to my yeah. YouTube channel, Kylie. Learn from it. For coding projects yeah. hey. and just fun computer science related topics. Follow me on Twitch, Kylie. I will. I'm good. Live streams of unedited coding sessions, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. At Kylie Wying. Done, okay, done, so done. I'll do it later, though. Yeah. Thanks, Kylie. Oh, yeah, yeah we're going to see her again. In a traditional Mad Lib, oh, you yeah, have course. a bunch of blanks in a paragraph. Whoa. And you would have somebody fill out those blanks and then read the paragraph out loud with the words that they chose in those blanks. So we're going to recreate this project in Python using string concatenation. So let's talk a little bit about string concatenation. In other words, how do you put strings together? So suppose we want to create a string that says subscribe to blank, and this blank is going to be it type fast. So we crap. can create a variable oh, yeah. YouTuber, and this is going to be some string. So there are a few ways to create the string that says subscribe to the YouTuber. One way to do it is we can have the string subscribe to, and then we can concatenate it with YouTuber by just adding a plus sign. The second way is to have a string subscribe to and then have these curly braces. And what we can do is we can call string.format YouTuber. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna put the YouTuber, whatever the value of YouTuber is, into where the curly braces are in that string. So I'm gonna let and you make the call if you wanna actually do these or not when she's done, if you want to, like if it's, uh... If it's too easy or you've done it before, we can just keep watching it. Oh, no. Well, you... no, we we can keep watching it. I'm not. He's just showing examples right now. I'll uh, yeah, 
I'll, yeah. I'll do the part when she gets into what she's trying to get into. Yeah. Cause she's just covering, yeah. she's just covering basics right now. Okay. Her method and what I think is the most straightforward is called an F string. And in an F string, we can define this F string. That's new to me. String by just prepending an F in front of the string. And then we can say subscribe to, and then the curly braces. And then directly in the curly braces, we can add the variable name, YouTuber. So with an empty string, let's try running this real fast, just to check that there are like no errors and they all turn out to be the same thing. So let's open terminal and run the script. So here we see subscribe to blank three times. No errors. Okay, everything looks good. So now let's try with the YouTuber actually filled out to some string. Let's just try Kylie Ying. Okay, let's do that. No, I, like why not? Because those are just notations. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I think I'm gonna, it's I'm good. gonna, I'm gonna put my own name though, because yeah. you're not Kylie Ying. And I'm live streaming to YouTube. I'm live streaming something thanks to Kylie Ying to my YouTube. You notice who the you notice who the people are there, or the 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 channel. I did not. It's the same. Uh, it's the same one that. Did oh yeah, one. yeah. It's freecodecamp.org. dot org. That's Camp. who I mentioned. It's a, a, just the yeah. yeah. That's cool. So it, this must be the same thing. And as far as I under, Python, yeah. as far as I understand, their uh, mission statement is, it's because. Um, that Python is a free language that yeah. is provided for free, and lots of people don't believe in charging for a free language because it's free. Yeah, yeah. Or it's supposed to be anyway. Kind of like how the guy who uh, patented insulin patented it for a dollar. Oh, yeah, that, that dick. And then, well, not that guy. That guy wasn't the dick, but then. Oh. Because that was the guy who created the patent. He patented it for a dollar. Oh, yeah, got it. Yeah, the, yeah. the original guy. And uh, oh, line five, print F. Oh, I, oh, right. You're just showing me that feed. Got it. I got to switch feeds. You got to look at the the live one. Yeah. Oh, I put two. Yeah. I put two quotes. That's what's wrong. Oh, how do I switch this now? Well, where you can see my feed, there should be another window for my live stream. Um, oh, fucking, never mind. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. I can see it. I can't get to it. Maybe a button file. What's going on here? I could do it last time. How come I can't do it this time? I just keep looking at it. You'll find it. I'm trying to just debug, yeah, yeah, yeah. De debug this while I'm looking I'll, at it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Processed, finished. F subscribe to. Wonder which. Uh... Oh, there we go. Ah, there we are. Oh, I see. Oh. I see what I did. Okay, so I put the quote in the wrong spot, but I'm not sure like if this F function, I'm, what I'm not, and I'm also don't, I also I don't. Think that's, I think what F is, is like format string. But I don't know what version of Python she's using. If, she, if she's not using. Three, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I did it. I had the quote in the wrong spot. So it just, it didn't get shiny like her. So she's just using a different compiler. Um, yeah, I'm, she's using VS Code, I think. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. Whatever. Green and orange and pink don't really matter as long as they look nice. They turn, they both turn red when they're wrong, right? Yeah. And I had, I had two. Uh, so the three mistakes I made were I had an extra quote here, or two mistakes I made was I had an extra quote here, yeah. and, and I had a, another quote right here. So there's yeah. just two extra quotes, which it was causing the bug, but obviously I fixed yeah. it. Yeah, and concatenating yeah. strings is actually a surprisingly really good skill to have, uh, which I'll get to. I get get to after this. One this was just print, this was just printing out. One week warning. One typo. I think that's just old. 
I think if you save it, it'll go away. Yeah, it's just a hold. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. So let's run this again, and you'll see that yep. now those things have a delay a little bit sometimes. Statements say subscribe to Kylie Ying. And oh, you should put clockwise happen, media. We're gonna use the last. Yeah, but I'm I'm calling my my I changed my channel to my name. Oh, I might check out to my name and my Facebook to my name, but I, I don't know, I might change it again. There's just too many clockwise me medias on Earth now. Oh, yeah, 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 you told me that. The F string, just because I think that's the cleanest way to express string concatenation. Oh, so that's funny. Okay. Oh, so she, that was weird. So first we're just gonna she changed them all to all, that all to notation. I don't, I don't know if she did it manually. So, you do, so, so what you need to do uh for PyCharm, you have to google how to do a multi multi-line select well you do that but then how do you press that's because you got to do a multi-line select you do a multi-line select and then you whatever you type in there you got to google it i don't know how to do it in PyCharm. i actually don't remember how to do it in um Visual Studio Code either, but there's like a key combination to toggle comments on or off. You can also search for toggle comments. Or you can just do it one line at a time. There's only four of them. And worry about the shortcuts later. Roll plus slash. There you go. Yeah. Controls. Control slash. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Which one did you search for? Uh PyTar multi multiple line comment. Yeah, there you go. But it was one of the like when I started to type in, I got as far as PyTar multi and then yeah. it, it was it, it was one of the third op I think it was the third option down as it was the closest to what I was looking Active to do. Variable yeah, equals and then an F string. So let's say computer programming is so blank, where blank is some adjective. Oh, well, I thought he was going to type the F word. find this variable adjective. So you can say adjective equals input. So here we're going to get a user input. And let's do adjective as the prompt. It makes me so excited Oops. all the time oh. because I love to blank. Make that a verb. This is like the match and game. And this break right here, this is just saying, this is telling Python, hey, this string has gone on to the next line. That's all that little slash there is. Stay hydrated and verb to like you are, and let's make this a famous person. Exclamation mark. Oh, right. Okay, uh. so let's just use that example right there. And now don't forget to define. Hey, I don't know where all these quotes are coming from. I'm not, that I'm, I'm not putting there, but I didn't put either. Yeah, it's auto, it's auto filling out. That's yeah. one of the things PyCharm does. And I, I see, I see why that's it. I see why people stop using that. It's really annoying when you don't want it. You can turn it off if you really want to use PyCharm. I still recommend switching to Visual Studio Code. Oh, I probably but it, will. But you can, you can turn this off. You can turn these things on or off. Um, yeah, but. Typing what she's saying here. Something uh, on the first line is yelling at you. Why is that? Oh, I'm not. I'm just getting it down. And then I'm going to go back and edit it. Oh, yeah. Because okay. there's an extra quote, probably. Not supposed yeah. to be there. Oh, um, that's a quote. Yeah, yeah. That's a quote wrapping thing. You start the first quote. It automatically assumes that you're putting the second quote. But it's like, I don't want it. Input. Uh, add check. Adjective colon space. That's all good. So the first line is Madlib equals uh, that. Uh, that shouldn't be there. Here, oh, whatever. F computer programming it is so adj exclamation point. It makes me so excited all the time because I love to verb one. Period, stay hydrated. And verb two, like you are a famous person, underscore. 
Per quote at the end. Per quote at the end of the line. Point. Is this put a quote at delete. the end of the line above it. That doesn't need to be there. Yeah, I didn't do that either. Yeah. Um, yeah there, there you go. That looks better. There's still one or two things at the end there. Complained about. Oh, there's an extra explanation point. That should be there. And that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Now it's just complaining about the spelling and that you haven't used that variable, probably. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Okay. These variables, verb one, verb two, and famous person. So up here, we're going to say verb one equals input. And the prompt is just going to be verb because all we want is the user to input some verb. And now verb two is going to be the same thing, but instead, verb two will be the name of the variable. And then famous person, again, equals input. So we're getting user input. And we're going to say famous person as the prompt. Okay, so I actually. All right, I'm just going to do that. Follow along yeah. here. Go so verb one. Variables. Input. Oops. Making some input variables. Making some verbals. Okay, and then we're going to go verb two equals input verb. Oops. Well, I can kind of see that. better without the thing. Third one is the come on person equals input famous. Oh, I haven't even thought about uh famous person. Oh, okay. Actually, have to remove this space and then. Oh, yeah, it'll write that space. End, we have to print the Mad Lib to show the user. So that's it though. Now we can run this code. All right, so I'm doing something quick here. Uh, boy, oh boy. Famous person. That's me. Really? This is better on the TV. I hooked this up on the TV this week. For the screen share, it's much better. Voice. Okay, so um, I've got to do the uh, print mad lib. That's it, right? That's it. Play it. Happens. Adjective. Well, that's what you wanted. What's an adjective? What's, ad what's an adjective? <laughs> <laughs> It's not a grammar lesson. Uh, no, what's, I, an ag what's an adjective? Everybody talks about pronouns these days. I don't even yeah. know what an adjective is. I have to look it thing. up. Not a person, place, or a thing. A word or phrase naming an attribute added to or grammatically related to a noun to mod modify. Give what are adjectives? Give five examples. They live in a beautiful house. So beautiful is the adjective. Because it's... Oh, okay. Gorgeous. Lisa is wearing a sleeveless shirt today. So the adjective is sleeveless because the noun is a shirt. This soup, right. soup is the uh, noun, is not edible. We, she, me, she, she writes meaningless letters. Meaningless is the adjective. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, write... Meaning, so sur superlative. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll give you that one. I was going to say lugubrious, but it's the same thing. <laughs> no, okay. You can enter. No, a verb is a descriptor, right? Uh, verb is an action. A verb. Like, go, go. Uh, use a word, I, a word to use to describe an action. That's right. State or occurrence informing the main part of the predicate of a sentence, such as here. Become or happen. What give? What is a verb? Give five examples. This is kind of fun, though. Anthony is throwing the football. She accepted the job offer. He thought about his stupid mistake. John visited his friend for a while and then went home. Oh, visited. Okay. The dog ran across the yard. That's ran. She left in a hurry. Not left. Hurry. Yep. She yelled. 
when she hit her toe. So yelled. Uh, the cat sat by the window, sat. Okay. Um, verb squatted. 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 And what? And, 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 oh, and, and another verb. Yeah. Uh, at. There you go. Yeah. Famous person. Um, the James Bond one. Uh, Daniel Craig. Roger Moore. Yeah, okay, Daniel Craig. It's, uh, I was thinking the older one, but. Uh, I'm confidence, going... confidence, confidence. John Connery. Computer programming is so superlative. It makes me excited all the time because I love to squat it. <laughs> Stay hydrated squat. and tapped. I think it's supposed to be squat. I think it's supposed to be squat. Like, to squat. stay hydrated and tapped like you're Sean Connery. My, there's, there's my typo. Where's that? So it was right? Yeah, well, it looks like it, because it, it says, right. a computer programming is agitated. It makes me so excited all the time because I love to pee, or, you know, I love to squat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so if I were to clear this, I guess, or I think you just stop. It just does it again. You just go to exit or something. I don't know. I haven't used PyCharm. I think you just leave it. Just start typing in the top. Doesn't matter. That's weird. What? I didn't. Well, I don't. I just was typing the wrong thing. Crows has finally started to come back to the backyard. It's wonderful. <laughs> they're noisy. They're all right. A little bit noisy sometimes. They don't like the raccoons. Pro tip: crows and raccoons don't get along. Yeah, they, that makes sense. They're both. Uh, they both have complex social structures, I believe. Uh, and then we'll go with, uh, that guy. Who's that guy with, that had the circus? Uh, Barnum and Bailey? Barnum, Barnum Bailey? Yeah, P.T. Barnum. Barnum. Okay, so then, computer programming is so adorable. It makes me so excited all the time because I love to throwing. Stay hydrated and drink like you're a P.T. Barnum. I think it's uh, the verb is just like throw. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and some verbs. Oh, you want to do the next one? This one works. Um, throw. Uh, I'm alone. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Oh, wait. Except you're on, except you're on verb. Yeah. I want to do this. Because he would. Yeah. He, yeah. He used to drink when he was a baseball player. So computer programming is so beautiful. It makes me so excited all the time because I love to throw. Stay hydrated and drink like you're at Sam Malone. Okay, I just wanted it to make make sense. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so we'll just move I understand. on. Here. All right, so adjective. Let's do amazing. Verb. That's pretty good. How about anyway. skydive? And then another verb. Jump. It seems silly. And a famous person. And all this stuff adds up. Yeah. Captain America. What? That's and not a real person. Live is, computer programming is so amazing. It makes me so excited all the time because I love to skydive. Stay hydrated and jump like you are Captain America. And so, yeah, there you have it. That's Mad Lib in Python. All right. So if we you did project one already. Wow, my nice. code, which is linked somewhere below. You'll notice that there's a file called random madlibs.py. What this is going to do is it'll choose. Oh, there's a link in the bottom. I didn't know that. Madlibs that I prepared. Where? And it'll let in you In the description. Oh. Right, adjective. Pretty. Another adjective. On, uh, probably in the description there, there's um, a link to some downloads. Five minutes later. Whoa. 
across the enchanted sky above them as an edge of dazzling sun appeared <clears> you can do that as an after project the light if you want both of their hand at the same yeah that makes sense so that voldemort download uh a flame she gave a sample of this i think it's what did i just read anyways there's a mad lib for you Great. That was number one. That was number one. That was number one. Woo! Did you, uh, can we look at Adam's thing? Um, we've done one of those. Oh, I was just, just going to tell you to do that. You can look at it on here. Yeah, I was just telling you to do that. To This was going to be a Python thing. We can do that another time. Okay, well, that's fine. We can, we can do that next week. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll... Check it. I don't want you to do it surprised on stream too, right? So yeah. check it out over the week and then we'll all right. Okay. So, uh, do you want to look at this next one? Yeah. 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 I want to do yeah. as many as we can. How long? How long have we been going? Uh. Well, I don't know. I I don't, I don't have any appointments, so uh, yeah. Okay. We can go another. Hey, half. We'll do two or three. Uh. We'll do. Th try to get through three. Say. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, hold on. Um, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Joy. So I'm gonna teach pump you guys how to play a guessing game. Oh, different day. Different shirt. Yeah. Different background. That was what was weird about that other video. That was four hours long. That guy sat That's in it. the same spot with the same shirt with the same hat for the entire four-hour video. We same background. You think he did it in four hours? So the first no. one is actually having no, the just, okay. generate a I made it within a week, up, probably. And in order to yeah, do yeah. that, we're going to import random. Whenever we oh, call oh, yeah, random, okay, there you go. it actually goes to this you just, uh, you might out. as well use the same file over here and do what she's doing, because you can reproduce this. You don't need to save this, right? For Mad Libs that I prepared. No. And it'll yeah. let you play that game. I just or kind of missed what she was saying. Pretty. Yeah, that's because I was Another talking away. Another adjective. A pretty glow bursts suddenly across the enchanted sky above them as an edge of dazzling sun appeared over the sill of the nearest mass. The light hit both of their hand at the same time, so that Voldemort's was suddenly a flaming water bottle. What did I just read? Anyways, there's a Mad Lib for you. First, I'm going to teach you guys how to implement a guessing game where the computer has a secret number and we are trying to guess that secret number. So the first step is actually having the computer generate a secret number for us to guess. And in order to do that, we're going to import random. Whenever we call import random, it actually goes to this package that comes with Python and it says, hey, all of these functions that are here like make these accessible in our script so that we can call these functions. So for example, in order to get a random number, something like random.randint might be very applicable because it returns a random integer n such that a is less than or equal to n, less than or equal to b. So a and b are the parameters of this function and we need to pass in arguments. I'm gonna define a function and I'm gonna define this function, let's say a guess. I'm going to make x a parameter so that we can pass that into this random get number function. So first we need to get the random number. And our random number, well, we're going to use random dot and then rand int, which is exactly what we saw down here. Let's make it between 1 and x. Okay, so now basically what this is going to return is a random number for us to guess. Okay, what's our second step here? Our second step is once the computer has a random number, we need to guess, right? We need to guess in terminal and input what our guess of the number is. And then the computer will tell us whether it's too high, too low, or if we've guessed the number correctly. I need to keep looping until I get the right answer, right? So that sounds like a job for loops. And basically, since we don't have a predefined universe to iterate over, we're gonna use a while loop. So Let's insert while in there. And now in this while loop, we need an expression here, right? And now for this expression, when do we want to stop this loop? We want to stop it 
when our guess number equals the random number. So that means our expression should be something along the lines of guess does not equal random number, then we want to iterate over some things. Now we need to actually define this guess and we're not going to make a guess up here because we're just trying to initialize the variable, tell Python that this variable exists Oops. so that we can go back and change it later. So after random number, I'm going to say guess equals zero, right? Because we don't want our guess to ever accidentally equal that random number. And here, if guess is zero, well, random number is random dot rand int between one and x. And that means that it will never be zero. So while the guess does not equal the random number, we're going to get the user's guess. So guess equals input guess a number. And we can even get a little fancier here between one and, so let's use an F string and we can do X. So let's just see what that looks like real fast. Uh, guess a number between one and, Let's call our function guess at the bottom of our script. And then let's just print our guess. Let's see what happens when we run this. All right, so if we run Whoa. this, pick guess a number between one. So guess equals input, guess a number. And we can even get a little fancier here between one and, so let's use an F string and we can do X. So let's just see what that looks like real fast. Let's call our function guess at the bottom of our script and then let's just print our guess. Let's see what happens when we run this. All right, so if we run this, pick guess a number between one and 10, let's do five. Okay, so well, we- What'd you do, what you got there? So uh, line one, import random installation unexpected input. Or imp yeah, go, go look, look at hers. Go back and look at her code. Go back in the YouTube somehow. And get rid of, go back a couple minutes in hers. Unexpected indent. Yeah, where is but there, but there, But there's no indent. Look on, look on the top there on your, you got a couple of errors on your thing there. I don't see an indent either, but, uh. First, I'm going to teach you guys how to implement a guessing game where the computer has a secret number and we are trying to guess that secret number. So the first yeah. step is actually. So just stop, stop then. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's what the problem is. You got to do the same for all the bottom ones. Too. I think if you select them all and go shift tab, they'll all tab indent properly. I didn't see that indent that expected yeah. for. Yeah. All of the bottom ones. Unresolved random number six. Okay. Um, all the, all, they all have to be indented or it's not going to work. And then the last, the, the guess one doesn't indent. Don't indent the last one. That's it. Seven, indent expected. Oh, yeah, in your loop. No, you need an indent. That's not going to work. That was a space, not an indent. Uh, well, it, it was a tab, actually. In my Did it? Head. Okay. Okay, try it, see if it works. It doesn't look like enough to me, but uh, that could just be my screen, which it is. Here you go. Okay, there you go. Uh, seven. Eighty-six. It's, uh, is it print? Oh yeah, it's printing out your guess with no words. Yeah, yeah, got it. 
That's what you're telling it to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, that's not telling me whether I'm right or wrong because I have all the numbers there. One, two, three, four, five. No, eight. Six, no, I have eight there. Six, I don't have. I don't know. Was it over? We should. Let's see what you. We have your computer yeah. generate a secret number for us to guess. And in order to do that, we're going to import random. Whenever we call import random, it actually goes to this package that comes with Python. And it says, hey, all of these functions that are here, like make these accessible in our script so that we can call these functions. So for example, in order you could to also get just a print out random number if you really like want to random .rand int. Yeah, so true enough. Sure, applicable no. because it returns a random integer n such that it's actually not a bad test. N, uh, print out the random so number and then enter the random number and, and it should exit. I'm going to define a function and I'm going to define a function. But wait until she's finished. Let's say guess. I'm going to make x a parameter so that we can pass that into this random get number Param function. So first we need to get the random number. And our random number, well, we're going to use random dot and then rand int, which is exactly what we saw down here. Let's make it between one and X. Okay. So now basically what this is going to return is a random number for us to guess. Okay. What's our second step here? Our second step is once the computer has a random number, we need to guess, right? We need to guess in terminal. And yeah, input your input, yeah, I don't, yeah, your inputs were working and it was printing up what you were guessing. So. That's high, all she had done so far. Yeah, but she had correctly. printed whether it's right or wrong. Correct. Until I get the right answer, right? So that sounds like a job for loops. And basically, since we don't have a predefined universe to iterate over, we're going to use a while loop. So let's insert while in there. And now in this while loop, we need an expression here, right? And now for this expression, when do we want to stop this loop? We want I think to stop your print needs one indent as well. Actually. Number equals the <clears throat> number. We'll so see when she gets that. Our expression should be something along the lines of guess does not equal random number. Then we want to iterate over something. Now we need to actually define this guess and we're not going to make a guess up here because we're just trying to initialize the variable, tell Python that this variable exists. So we can go back and change it later. So after random number, I'm going to say guess equals zero, right? Because we don't want our guess to ever accidentally equal that random number. And here, if guess is zero, well, random number is random dot rand int between one and X. And that means that it will never be zero. So while the guess is not equal to random number, we're going to get the user's guess. So guess equals input, guess a number. And we can even get a little fancier here between one and, so let's use an F string and we can do X. So let's just see what that looks like real fast. Let's call our function guess at the bottom of our script. And then let's just print our guess. Yeah, see it's let's in see line with that one. So if we run this, so that makes sense because you're always going to get a out okay, thing because so you're out of the loop there. Number, right? And I'm just going to add this it. as integer because I want my guesses to be integers. So what do we have so far? The computer has said, okay, I've gotten a random number. And now we've set up this loop where I can keep guessing until I guess the right number. But that's no fun, right? We kind of want the computer to give us some feedback, give us some clues into what's right and what's wrong. So that means that I'm going to use some if statements. And these if statements are going to tell me, hey, you're kind of high, kind of low, or, oh, maybe you've gotten it. All right, so let's add these if statements in. So if our guess is less than our random number, then we can print, sorry, guess again, too low. 
All right, but then else if our guess is greater than our random number, then we can print, sorry, guess again, too high. And then if it's not less than, if it's not greater than, that means it's just right. It's in that Goldilocks zone, right? And that means that you have guessed the jackpot. You have guessed that random number. And so what do we do then? Well, we actually don't have to do anything because remember this loop? While the guess is not equal to random number, it does all of this. But as soon as your guess equals the random number, so once you've input this guess, we don't hit any of these if statements. So then we come back to while the guess is not equal to number, but now your guess equals the random number. So it actually breaks out of this loop, meaning that at the very end, I can print, yay, congrats, you have guessed the number. And you know what? We can even just toss in our random number in there. So let's use our S string again. Oh, yay, that's congrats, funny. You have yeah. Oh yeah, you have to do uh... You don't need that because she doesn't have it. She has you have. She doesn't go you've. All right. Are we ready to? Play? Yeah, but you should be able to use contractions. Yeah, you have to do that escape what you were doing. Yeah. Which you learned last time. Okay, Just guess a number between one and ten. Um, I'm gonna do four. Yeah, sorry, that was my fault. I think. She printed out. Now go back. You missed the last line. She does the. She adds the number in. Uh, no, you had it right. Then we can print, sorry, guess again, too high. And then if it's not less than, if it's not greater than, that means it's just right. It's in that Goldilocks zone, right? And that means that you have guessed the jackpot. You have guessed that random number. And so what do we do then? Well, we actually don't have to do anything because remember this loop? While the guess is not equal to random number, it does all of this. But as soon as your guess equals the random number, so once you've input this guess, we don't hit any of these if statements. So then we come back to while the guess is not equal to number, but now your guess equals the random number. So it actually breaks out of this loop, meaning that at the very end, I can print I'll just let her finish that line there. Oh no, I'm just okay. straight straight to open something. You have yeah. guessed the number. And you know she what? Printed we can though. even just toss in a random number in there. Yeah, she does this so, one. Let's use our F string again. Yeah, she yeah, that one. The, the F string on the left. <clears throat> uh, so you put a quote in uh oh no, it works. Never mind. Never mind. Yay, congrats. You have guessed the number, random okay. number. So, correctly. Okay, so line seven. Uh, line, or sorry, line eight. Wait a second, what's going on here? The line eight needs to be indented when your ifs need to line up somehow. You line somehow eight you if know. guess syntax error invalid syntax. Yeah. There you go. That should work now. I might actually want to have that one too. Guess if L if. Yeah. Yeah, correct. If that looks right. Correct. Yeah, that's right. And we're still line eight, so there must be something missing. Colon. Colon, yeah. Line thirteen now. Um, e O L. End, is end, end of line. E -O -L is end of line. Did you got an underscore yeah. there? I'm not sure. All right, are we ready to play? So we the number and you know what we can even just toss in a random number in there i think i see an underscore in your at the so end of 13. Let's use our F string again. is that there or is that just highlighting Yay, just the highlighting you have i don't know if that is number, random number that's nothing 
Okay. All right. Are we ready to play? So we go to terminal. Oh, that's weird. It's like it, uh, is there well, take stuff out. Again. What I do is take stuff out. So just stop, uh, stop her. All right. But oh, I just want to see what she types. Our guess is okay. greater than our random number. Then we can print. Sorry. Guess again. Too high. And then if it's not less than, if it's not greater than, that means it's just right. It's in that Goldilocks zone, right? The text here, oh, end of line. Well, you got to you got to close you quote. Uh, or you got a single quote. So oh yeah, you're right. You're right. That's exactly what it is right there. Okay, that's my problem. I believe you're right. Okay. The thing that's the thing that's different between her and I, though, is her, hers is printing on the next line, but I don't know if it's just because of the compiler. That's because and... you're running it in PyCharm and she's running it in a terminal. So, it, so this isn't really, re it's running it in the interpreter, but inside of PyCharm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. So that's I got number cool. two done. I got the number two. I'm number two. Number two done. Uh, you want to do one more? Sure. It's pretty easy. They're pretty easy, right? Yeah. They get harder and harder and harder. Uh, you can just use this. You don't need. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just read it. Well, I'll just read this. I'm not even going to save it. Don't have to do anything. Yeah. Because remember this loop. While the guess it's like doing push-ups. Number it does all. But as soon as your guess equals exactly. the number, so once you've input this guess, we don't hit any of these if statements. So then we come back to. They're the as simple, as silly, and as simple as that is. The there's a lot in there. Oh yeah, absolutely. The Meaning that at the very end, I can print, yay, congrats. You can now make your own magic eight ball. Oh, yeah. And you know what? We can even just toss in a random number in there. So let's use our I didn't know about the F, F print as well. That's useful. Yay, congrats. Yeah. You have guessed the number, random number. Uh, and random ra imp random is very useful right. as well because are we ready to play so it's we just go to useful for stuff let's run our script hey how do i write a random okay, script to pick a number um import random four. dot okay. int okay it was too high so maybe oh actually no there's different random ints right. there's oh, random absolutely. range if four is too absolutely high, if two is too low it has to be three right wow look at that I've guessed the number three correctly. Woohoo! Like the dab. Yeah. Guess the number, user. All right. So we talked about earlier how yeah, we did. the computer is guessing our number, but we can also do the complete inverse of that function. We can come up with a secret number. Oh, inverse functions. Try to guess. Uh oh. So now I'm going to create a new function <clears throat> called computer guess. Okay. Oh, you just didn't have deleted it. Right. What happened? Uh, she's using it. She's making it. She's using your code. Or she's using the. Oh, oh, oh wow. Magic. And Thank God you know how to get that back. What we actually have to do. So I have a secret number, and I'm not going to tell the computer what the secret number oh, is. Oh, man. Me. That basically means the computer has a range of numbers to work with a minimum and a maximum, a low and a high. Okay, so that means let's set the low and the high initially, because we know what that is without even having to loop over anything. So I'm going to say low, the lower bound is one and the high is X because we do have that entire range between one and X to work with initially until the user can provide some feedback. We need to be able to tell the computer if it's too high, too low, or if they've guessed correctly, which means that let's initialize a feedback variable. All right feedback and at first there aren't any guesses nothing's too high nothing's too low so just like how we initialize guess to be zero let's initialize this to an empty string and now basically we want to loop over this feedback expression so while this feedback expression does not equal what we're going to make it represent when it's correct let's do c because c for correct so while this feedback does not equal c well, 
the first thing I need the computer to do is to guess a new number. So I'm going to make the guess random. I'm going to use random.randid again. And this time we're going between low and high. Now we don't want it to always be, to be between 1 and x, right? Because we want to be able to kind of change these bounds according to the user's feedback. Because you know that if something is too high, then anything above that we can kind of stop considering. And then if it's too low, anything below that we can stop considering. So that's why I'm passing in these low and high values into this rand int so that we can guess a new number between the bounds that we know has to be correct. Okay, so we have a guess and now we're trying to ask the user for feedback. Hey, is our guess right or is it wrong? So here I'm gonna do feedback equals and let's do a user input. Is so I'm going to use an f string again so I can put this variable inside my string. Is guess too high? And let's Oops. say that h, okay, too low, and that's going to be l or correct. And that, of course, is c. The user is going to input h l or c i have these uppercase letters here this oh, interesting here. okay i'm just gonna make this input lowercase mm -hmm. so adding that dot lower at the end is gonna take whatever this string Oops. is from the input and just lowercase it so h Fine. l and c are all lowercase if we try to compare a capitalized letter to its lowercase letter it actually does not come out to be equal so that's why i'm adding this lower in there let's look at our different cases again so if feedback is h so basically we're saying, okay, if it's too high, then that means we want to adjust our upper bound. Because if our Oops. guess is too high, like, you know, if we're guessing out of 10 and we guess eight, the other person says, oh, that's too high. That means that nine and 10 cannot be the numbers. That would mean that we need to adjust our upper bound. Our upper bound is actually going to be what we just guessed minus one. Because for example, if we guess eight, then we know it's between one and seven if eight is too high. And now if the feedback is L, that's weird. We know that our low bound has to be guess yeah. plus one, right? Because it it's can't helping be you. that low number. And of course we can make that an LF. LF makes it a little bit cleaner because feedback can only be H or it can be L. Like it can't be both of them. And of course, if it's correct, we don't have to have an if statement for that because our while loop kind of takes care of that. Yeah. So at the very end, of course, when we exit our while loop, that means that the computer has guessed our number correctly. Print, yay, the computer guessed your number. Uh, let's put the number in there. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing she's going to use it. And so I'm going to put oh, a guess. Data. I'm starting to get the, because starting to get the, that outside of this for loop, friends now. Okay, so uh, yay, the computer guessed your number. Uh, okay. Uh, the guess in there. Yeah, put this here. Yes, and put that comma correctly. All right. Is actually the last thing that the computer had guessed, which means that, you know, if it's correct, then that is our secret number. All right, so basically one other thing that I've noticed is random.randint will actually throw you change your guess the computer guess are the same number. Sorry? Yeah, on uh, line 28, you got to change your guess the computer guess 20 28 or 29. Oh yeah, gotcha. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, computer And then, okay. okay. So we can do a couple of things. We could theoretically put this statement up here that prevents this loop from continuing if low equals high, because if low and high are the same number, that means that you've narrowed it down, right? If well, I, uh, did I, I don't so, even think I did on. that. Stand by. Hang on. Hey, so stop, stop, on. stop, stop. Okay. 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 I just didn't, I didn't type that there. Well, feedback not equal to C and okay, go on. Uh, you need a colon. She was. I think she might undo this. I, you might. She might undo this. Okay. Well, we'll see you in a sec. Okay. Uh, so you're saying eight yeah. Is too low okay. And your new low is nine. 
and then you're saying 10 is too high, so then your new high is 9. Well, that means that the computer has actually narrowed down the number to 9. But if we break too early, so if we're saying and low does not equals high, then we don't actually iterate over this loop when our low is 9 and our high is 9, right? We just break and we say, oh, the computer guessed your number correctly. But the thing is, we actually want the user to say that the computer has chosen it correctly. So that's why we can't actually have that statement in there. Yeah, so you're right. What we want is we want to say if low does not equal high, then our guess is a random number between low and high. Otherwise, so this means if low does equal high, otherwise our guess is equal to one of them. So let's well, good thing I changed that. In the okay, so well feedback is not equal to C. Hey, that was weird. Not really, but if there we go, low is not equal to high. Yeah, so in a colon, this is one that I missed as well. I started to miss it. Where'd you, where? um, but the end of your if statements and your while statements and stuff on the end of the first line, they need to have colons. So line 19 needs a colon. Uh, 25 needs a colon. Because low is equal to high. Okay, so uh, so that was if guess equals random randint. Low equal to high. Where is she typing? Oh, yeah, she's... You just need to indent, you just need to indent 21. You, see, you have it there already. 23. 20. No, no, 23. She has on 23. I, I don't have that at all anywhere. I guess. Oh, sorry. I'm reading yeah. the wrong spot. Yeah. So if is it's also it's an if statement, so you have to resolve it with an else or an elif. Um. So right here. Uh. Yeah. Um, yes. Equals so, and that's just a notation. Here. Could also be indent, your your else is going to bother me. Indent your else. Your else needs to be on the oh, same. Oh, that yeah, that's what's wrong. Okay, yeah, look through to me too. Uh, yeah. That and I put a minus instead of it. All right, so then our feedback actually puts this number into here, and it prompts yeah, the know. user to say, "Hey, that's that's right." So then, and, then and you need to indent twenty one as well. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that nonsense! Yeah. I don't know why the guess is high, high, highlighted, but I think that's yeah, just pie charm. Exactly. All right, let's try this. Five. Oh. All right, so tw before you run it, 19 needs a colon. Yep, 19 has a colon. Uh, I think as far as I can tell, that's all I can see. It's different. Yeah, her her numbers and my numbers aren't the same. Uh, yeah. Anyway. It doesn't matter. They're running up. What do we got? Line 32. Uh, uh, in module computer guess. Computer guess missing one required positional argument X. Oh, you need an X in your in your call. Where's my call now? It's in 32. Yeah, you need to put an X in there. Uh, let's put the number in there. Correctly. Yeah. And so I'm going to put guess in this F string because, so that means that outside of this for loop, this oh, 10. Sorry, 10. is actually the last thing. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Oops, that's not a 10. This is a 10. This is a 10. There you go. That should work. Now. Try that again. Line All 32, right, computer. Your, uh, I just want to line is that? Computer had guessed, which means that, you know, if it's correct, then that is our secret number. All right, so basically one other thing that I've noticed is random.randint will actually throw an error if low and high are the same number. Is that so the, uh, oh, a spelling error. Theoretically. I had a spelling error right here. Up here that oh, I see. This loop from continuing if low equals high, because if low and high are the same number, that means that you've narrowed it down, right? Low is not equal to high. Guess you kind of rent in low high. And you're saying 10 is too high, so then your new high is 9. 
Well, that means that the computer has actually narrowed down the number to nine. But if we break too early, so if we're saying and low does not equal high, then we don't actually iterate over this loop when our low is nine and our high is nine, right? We just break and we say, oh, the computer guessed your number correctly. But the thing is, we actually want the user to say that the computer has chosen it correctly. Uh, so that's why we can't actually have that statement in there. Instead, oh yeah, what there we it want is. is we want to say if low does not equal high, then our guess is a random number between low and high. Otherwise, so this means if low does equal high, otherwise our guess is equal to one of them. So let's just say low. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This could also be high because low is equal to high. Yeah, sure. All right, so then our feedback actually puts this number into here and it prompts the user to say, hey, that's, that's right. So then at the very end, we're saying, okay, the computer guessed your number, guess correctly. All right, let's try this. Five. Oh, shoot. I need to come. Uh, let's say. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, let me do something. Uh, is, it's in that, yeah. Why did. So it's, 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 it's eight too high, too low. Yeah. It's based on your F string on 24. Oh, so it's phase right here. Yeah, correct. Okay. Is ten too high? Uh, no, ten is correct because that's what you put in. Right, you're passing ten in, so it's actually correct. Oh wait, perhaps. Yeah. So if you put in like seven, so that's here. That it like this is it. Yeah. That one. The that's, the one right there, right? Yeah. Correct. So, so is four too high? So I'll say low. Oops. I go down here. I'll say four low. Too high, it's low. Yeah. So seven, seven too high. Too high. Is correct. Correct. Oh, you're yeah. so smart, computer. Yeah, you can figure out numbers after oh, converting cool. them from electricity into binary and then back and then telling us it actually is very cool what's going on. I think yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I think that's enough, right? Yeah, I think we're probably good. I think we're, pro I, I think I'm happy. Too much. I felt, yeah. I felt like we got, so, we got three, uh, three learnings in. Three learnings. Uh, they were, I like the, I like, uh, Kylie. I like Kylie the, Ling. yeah, she's cool from freecodecamp.org. I like the, uh, oh, before you go, let's see if we can find the code in here. Cause she's saying there's code here as well. So, oh, well, there's it's, some GitHub. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the GitHub. So you don't even have to type. There's that mad limb thing. Uh, oh, so the next one's Hangman, that one's Tic-Tac-Toe. Oh, you'd like Minesweeper. You love Minesweeper. I do like Minesweeper. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah, I'm up. I like typing in the code, though, because it helps me learn the code. Oh, yeah, that's one of the things. Mm. So that's one of the things they tell you. Like, just watching. I watch because I've done the typing lots. Yeah. And I can like imagine running the thing and it doing the thing. And I've gone through a lot of this typing, uh, troubleshooting stuff already. But yeah, absolutely. The only way you're going to learn it is doing that. And well, yeah, and little stuff like missing the colons or putting yeah. uh, dashes or minus signs instead of equal signs. Like, it go, oh, oh, yeah, there it is. It's yeah. it, it just gives me the practice to, de to debug it while I'm uh, while I'm learning. And this stuff happens. Sure. Why not? Why would it? Time. Yeah. Like daily for people that are making ridiculous amounts of money to do technical stuff, make these stupid mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. Definitely and, a good thing. And uh, the other part was in, uh, I can't show it to you, obviously, but yeah. um, we just did a code review of our product and our major core product is done in Python. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. Yeah. So, uh, Python is a core core skill. I think getting good at Python 
is the fastest way to uh, get in something. You should actually make your own sample Python project after you go through this. Even if it's a stupid, I made my own hangman called Cory Ma Cory Hangman or something. Cory Main. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably throw. Uh, I'll probably make a YouTube video or two of uh, of this or throwing it wherever I can think of it. Yeah. Make some Cause videos. Because one, one of the things that people look for for tech jobs is like people have your LinkedIn, right? Sure. They'll ask you for your GitHub. And I think even on LinkedIn, there's a thing for GitHub. Oh, yeah. There's like a tab for GitHub. Well, I've got a GitHub. Yeah. Just got to put a couple of things on it. Well, yeah, That's I all. just have my resume The fact right that you now. have it is good, though. Yeah, sure. GitHub's a good... GitHub's very, very good. Yeah. And you use it uh, just for backing, backing stuff up. I use it for backing stuff up. Yes, sir. Bit. But we can do this... Uh, I, I can do the... Uh, the solutions art architect training on my own, but I think it'd be good to just go through Python things for the next few streams at least, or go through this whole yeah, thing. I don't mind go, we can do this whole thing. Yeah, um, be cool. my, my thing was uh, there's 12 of them, right? Sure, try to do three a stream unless they become super complicated, like the, the Sudoku solver is probably not simple, the Minesweeper is not simple. If you look at the time there, what's 127 to 151? Uh, the photo manipulation software is 25 minutes. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do that. And, and then the Markov chain text composer is uh, who knows how long that is. That's just like the last thing. Well, it's 20, it's 20, 29 minutes. It's a three hour video. So. That's a three hour video. Exactly. It's 29 minutes. So that's cool. I like her style, I like the delivery. Uh, and yes, typing it out is a very good thing. We'll continue to do that. Great, cool. Well, I'm just going to end the stream and then uh, say goodbye to you offline. So just give okay. me a second. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching if you've been watching. Peace Hi, out, mom. homies. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Bye, mom. Uh, and we're going to sort of the uh, stream is ending. Chiron. Chiron. And Chiron. Where the heck did my OBS go? Yes, I said heck, because you can still hear me.